Hello, so today in this video, I'm going to talk about how important it is to learn financial econometrics in order to work in uh, quantitative finance. In fact, uh, not just in quantitative finance, even if you're working in other areas of finance, uh, you need to learn some uh, financial econometrics. Those who are not familiar with what financial econometrics, uh, what financial econometrics is, let me tell you that it's a branch of uh, statistics. Uh, which deals with use of uh, statistical modeling in the field of uh, finance. So emphasis is given on how to use uh, the statistical modeling techniques uh, that originated in the field of statistics, but finds uses in the field of finance. Um, now, there is a popular uh, academic area called econometrics. Uh, if, if you have ever studied economics, met economics in your life you have done your masters or, or or phd in economics or any area of social science i'm quite sure you have heard about what econometrics is but those who haven't really heard about it it's an academic area that deals with use of uh, statistics in the field of economics and financial econometrics is just an extension of that right so uh, it covers pretty much the techniques that you learn in your data science program uh, as uh, for statistical analysis for example regression modeling and and time series forecasting and and so on but the thing is that you need to learn in such a way that you can relate it to the uses in finance that is something lacking in many uh, data science program where you are taught as if these techniques can be used everywhere. Of course, these techniques can be used here. But to work in finance, you need to know how these techniques can be used in finance. And the way you build models in finance in some scenarios can be very different from the way you build models in other industries such as e-commerce and, and, and so on. Um, like the models that you build in finance have to be very uh, sound from a theoretical point of view. You check all kinds of assumptions. You do all kind of testing. Um, something that you probably can skip in other industries, or nobody will uh, care much. But here in finance, you have you know set rules that you need to follow, and there are procedures in place. There are uh, policies in place that will uh, make it uh, mandatory for you to uh, adhere to this, these rules. Whereas in other industries, you have the freedom of experimentation. As long as the model performance is good, you are, you are fine with that. That's not the case here. And therefore, it's very important to learn financial econometrics to work in quantitative finance. Even though you have understanding of machine learning and statistical modeling, and you have done some courses in the past to, to learn these uh, things, you still have to learn financial econometrics um, your knowledge of statistical modeling in other fields will be handy. The, I mean, theory is, remains the same. It's just about how to use them in the context of finance uh, will be different. So what are the things that come under financial econometrics? Well, regression modeling is an important part of financial econometrics. And linear uh, regression model is not just about linear regression and logistic regression. There are the whole family of regression uh, techniques. You have polynomial regression, you have quantile regression, you have Cox regression, you have uh, many kinds of negative binomial regression, you know, so on and so forth, right? So, depending on the distribution of the data, you will have to see which uh, regression model that you need to fit to the data, right? And that knowledge you will have only when you have the knowledge of the different uh, statistical distributions and the associated regression modeling technique, right? Beside, you will also have to learn time series analysis at a very deeper level. You need to learn the autoregressive models, the moving average models, the ARIMA model, which combines um, autoregressive and moving average and, and with, with uh, an integrated component on this. Uh, and you will also have to learn volatility modeling, uh, the heteroscedasticity models such as Arch and Garch, uh, error correction model you need to learn. You need to learn what is co-integration. You need to learn uh, vector autoregression. Uh, 
so there are a number of things that you need to learn in time series uh, time series analysis is very very important in many areas of finance especially if you work going to be working in uh, in uh, buy side firms as a quant uh, this is going to be very very essential even in the banking world if you work in the stress testing area if you're going to be working on the provision provisioning area if you're going to be working on the um uh, market risk area counterparty credit risk area time series analysis uh, will be uh, useful and you really need to understand time series analysis not just just to run you know to to call the library from scikit learn and and you know get the output you have to understand it at a very theoretical level right um so um therefore it's very important that you learn uh, financial econometrics uh beside that you also need to learn a bit about uh, the survival analysis that's something i also teach in my course but also uh, you know is something that not many people learn as part of the curriculum in quantity finance but survival analysis is also an important um statistical modeling technique that is that should ideally be taught in quant finance program and should be part of financial econometrics uh, module um now important thing to note here is that uh, you know when you learn the theory of financial econometrics it's good to see the applications because that's exactly where you will understand the differences between the applications uh, in the field of finance uh, and from what you probably have studied uh, in the case studies in other industry but if you have not studied then don't bother uh, to think about it but but uh, it's important to keep that in mind that you know understanding the theory is very very important in the field of finance so you need to have proper understanding of that uh, do you need to understand the the derivations and everything not always if you can understand that's great but you don't have to understand the derivations of everything but understanding the intuition understanding the uses understanding uh, the assumptions and when things won't work very important right how you can learn financial econometrics i think there are some courses on coursera but you can also learn financial econometrics on youtube many people uh, are teaching financial econometrics on youtube you can learn from those videos uh, you can i think uh, quantnet it's called quantnet uh, i don't know uh, it's uh, there is another uh, mr university mr university is is dedicated uh, online platform to learn economics and this is i think they teach also econometrics and financial econometrics to check that out uh, i also teach that on in my course uh, i'm sure in many other quant finance programs they also teach um in some quant finance programs they don't teach anything about financial econometrics actually surprisingly in some cases places they only teach stochastic calculus heavy into stochastic calculus and nothing else i think that is not the right thing right it's also good to learn financial econometrics and machine learning uh, just to understand the differences because the way you build models in machine learning can be very different from the way you build models in econometrics and in some areas of finance you need to build econometric model even though the name of the technique or the technique as such is very similar but there may be differences uh, in the way you build model so you have to keep that in in mind while learning it anyway uh, that's what uh, i wanted to share today in case of questions let me know